I promise I didn't wail. I'm being serious. I did one multi summon on the new banner whenever it dropped. And yeah, I got Sakura Miku. I got a Roar animation. I got her. They're very similar to most of the Sakura characters that are in Grand Summoners, which is only one other one, which is Sakura Mira. She is heavily focused around Earth units, unlike her counterpart, which is heavily focused around water units. So the first ability is the same thing as the regular Hatsune Miku, except this one provides you magical evasion instead. Next is HP auto recovery level 10, HP auto recovery by 20, and she has accuracy level 5. I wish this was the accuracy master, so it gave it to the entire team and not just herself, but hey, it's fine. Her skill does earth damage and increases all allies accuracy by 10%. Her art heals all allies blind, disease, and freeze, and it increases your art gauge by 50 for units healed by this art. And then the true art is a art gauge true art, auto fills all allies art gauge by 4 and increase earth units attack by 100% for 20 seconds. This is archgen type E if I'm not mistaken. And her slots are 5 star support, 5 star magic, and 4 star magic. And yeah, that's pretty much all it is to her. I guess if you want to, we'll see her uh, true art. We can't have the music because, uh, you know, it's it's copyrighted, but I mean, eh, it looks pretty cool, right? I mean, eh, it looks all right to me. The only thing I don't like about this true art is you actually have like the music on, it cuts in, and then like it only lasts for like the duration of the true art and then afterwards the music cuts off but it doesn't pick up where it left off and that kind of bugs me whenever i have the sound on and i accidentally just bit my toe you hate to see it but this is the team we're going to be running we'll be running the sakura mira along with the finn and the sestina the reason why we opted for sestina here instead of norn but you could actually use norn if you have norn it's literally the exact same thing same slots and everything apart from norn has a five star magic and sestina has a five star physical the reason why i opted for sestina here instead of norn is because we have mostly physical attackers on the team. I made the boy Finn, Sakura Mira, and of course, Sestina. All of them are physical attackers, so 100% attack up plus 100% physical damage up. Gonna be really nice. We're not using any of the Earth Relics, though. I didn't really want to use any of those just because they're not really ideal and I don't really have a lot of them built up. If you want to, yeah, you could absolutely opt in for them. Before we get any further in the video, let me say this. If you're not subscribed yet, you should subscribe to the channel. 40% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel and it only takes two seconds. Because, hey, if you subscribe, you don't have to keep typing in my name on the search bar 24 7 to try to watch my video it just pops up in your sub box so hey man why not save yourself some time and click that subscribe button <laughs> but this shouldn't be really too hard at all but i mean it is a event that we do have a type advantage against to kind of show you off what she can do i think with this team it's actually insane to be honest like we have a lot of art gauge on this team once everybody gets going you'll see how crazy it is we have 30 percent damage up passively just because of sakura miku being here and oh, no, that's sakura miku my bad sakura mira being here now we have an additional 30 percent up because of uh normal art it gives 30 percent damage up to all earth units plus crit chance and uh yeah it gets pretty crazy the amount of damage and stuff and just the amount of uh art gen as well on this team is just disgusting like it's so insane man this boss is practically already dead but then again this is older content we'll be doing something else in just a second to kind of show you some more but then again any team with sestina on it is just going to be broken just because sestina is like one of the best units to ever be released let's actually try the special ex here the challenge quest i haven't fully cleared this but it's fine i just want to show you like kind of just like the long-term progression of the team if you want to make this team for yourself if you actually have it which if you do congrats it's a lot of fun i always have fun if i use mono earth but mono earth is usually the same thing as it's always been which is just we have tons of art gauge our damage isn't that insane but at least our art gauge is good i mean as you can see here we're just constantly spamming our arts there's really like no need to even worry about anything we have constant art gauge up constant true arts it's just oh man mono earth is such a blast to use every time i use it actually i think it's supposed to bring a breaker to this to really beat him on time but uh, yeah i didn't really want to bring a breaker is there even an earth breaker oh wait there is what Bro, what are you talking about, man? I just personally wish that there was more stuff going on at the moment so you can really, like, test these units out a little bit better. And, like, harder content, like, for example, using them against like mines and stuff like that i feel like this team would work insanely well the only thing you would do is against like palamecia you would instead switch out sestina for norn in that situation and that is the end of the fight right there ladies and gentlemen sakura miku doing her thing man doing her thing you know what i'm saying and then finally i guess we'll go against temple of heavenly light kind of show you a mix of stuff if we had mines here i would just go against mines like every single unit showcase just because that's really nice content to just show off units in that's why i usually just do crest palaces most of the time because they're kind of considered i don't want to say like 
super hard content, but you know, they're considered, you know, somewhat difficult. And here we are against the princess. This really shouldn't be too hard. The only time this will be really hard is if she instantly pops into Earth Killer. And I don't think she did yet, which I hope she doesn't <laughs> because, oh my God, dude, that's going to insta kill us. But Sakura and Miku should be able to do most of the damage to this barrier. Hopefully, I, I hope at least, maybe not. I mean, she's doing pretty good damage to it. She's, that's mostly her. And yeah, she's completely took it out with some hits from, you know, the other team members. But for the most part, it's mostly her. No one else really has accuracy like that. And she has Light Killer on, so we're still good in terms of, you know, our Earth units. Because as soon as she puts Earth Killer on, that's whenever it gets, like, really sketchy. And here we go. The barrier is actually down now. We're going to pop uh, Sakura Miku's outfit to give that extra attack to her. And I'm actually really lucky. I'm glad I actually got this item, too. Because uh, this was one of the items that I really wanted going into this crossover. And, uh, I mean, as you can see here, we're doing pretty okay. I mean, this team's doing really well. Uh, two of the units on this team are pretty old. And, you know, they're still holding up, especially one of them, you know, being Finn. Finn's literally old as dirt. Like, he's been here literally since, like, the beginning of the game. Not exactly the beginning, about two months after the game came out, two or three months after. But we're still doing okay, man. We're still doing A-OK -okay here. We're gonna break the barrier, and we are going to get Sistina's true art off. Hopefully, we'll be able to get a true art or art off with the girl Sakura Mira, so we can get the crit damage and everything, and we actually can. This girl has still not popped the Earth Killer, and uh, it's too late. She's, she's already dead. <laughs> but hey, man. That's pretty much it for this video. If Mines was here, you know, we would show her off against Mines, you know, Omega Palamecia and all that. But guys, it's gonna be it for this video, man. Thank you all for coming out. Tell me what you think about Sakura Miku down below. Me personally, really like her. I think she's an amazing arch jenner and supporter for Mono Earth. I think she's kind of what they needed to an extent. Someone else to give them some attack buffs and everything. Of course, really strong. You don't need to use her with this exact team either, by the way. You can create your own team. But of course, I'd say probably want to use her alongside Earth units just because that 100% attack of is insane but guys it's gonna be it for this video man thank you all for coming out against me bro p and last but not least man you guys already know don't forget to drink water